Earlier today, the minority, the minority in parliament had a press conference and among the many things that they raised, they say that raw materials were not thought of before the commissioning of the Commenda Sugar Factory and because of that, after the commissioning has been done, the factory has gone into a fallow period of six months. Is that the case? Is the factory not working for the next six months? No, you see, um, that is not actually the case. The factory is ready to work. The raw materials that came in, you know, the factory produ can produce, needs about 1,200 uh, tons of, of cane every day. You understand me? The sugar cane, sp uh, the period for sugar cane growing is not yet due. So we got less sugar cane. But at least we were able to get the 1,200 to start the machine with. Master, this is a newly built machine. If you don't run the machine for even a day, for you to see where leakages are, where do I have to tighten, and where do I have to make sure, you know, it's just a test run. I would say it's a test run. And after the test run, yes, they have to just look at where there, there were problems, where they have to tighten, filters that they need to change, the content of the sugarcane, the local sugarcane. What do we need to do to, to, to improve the kind of sugarcane that we bring on board? You understand me? So it's not a matter of just uh, show off, close down, and six months come back. It's a sugarcane period. It's from, it's from, it's from, uh, uh, it ends in October. Okay. You understand me? So now people have grown sugarcane. It's not ready. You understand me? But we have sugarcane already on the field because those who produces uh, the molasses, the appetition, the sugarcane appetition, they are still in production. Where do they get their sugarcane? So, so what exactly is happening now that the factory isn't working? No, the, who, who said the factory isn't working? What is happening now is the sugar cane that they brought, they still process it because they won't leave those sugar canes on the field. Just so the factory is still processing sugar cane as we speak now. The ones that, but what is there now? After this, now they have to just shut the factory down, look at where uh, things went wrong, they should tighten here, make sure. I mean, I hope you understand me. This is a huge machine. I, I understand that. I understand that. But. Uh, the, the suggestion of the minority is that before such a major investment into the Commander Sugar Factory was done, there should have been a steady stream of supply of sugar cane that was going to feed the factory so that after the commissioning, you don't produce, say, within a week, and then after the week, you go on a follow period and come back uh, after a few months no, 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 when you see, in a, boss, awaiting sugar cane no, no, production. No, no. Boss, you see, there, were, there are two things. I remember during MPP's time, they promised the people that they are coming to bring the factory back. It made people rush into producing sugarcane. You understand me? And they realized that they were at loss because there was nowhere, nowhere to sell the sugarcane. So here is the case. What is going to motivate the farmer? How long does it take sugarcane to grow? How long? About seven months. Maximum seven months. Seven months. So this is now they know that the factory is there. So that is the pull factor now. What is going to motivate me to go and say that I'm going to take a hundred acre land to cultivate sugarcane? Because I know now the factory is there. I have ready market when I cultivate. But those who cultivated sugarcane, they sold it, they sold them all because they were not sure whether because they've been lied to for a very long time. So they were not sure whether the factory will be coming or not. So they started selling their sugar canes to the uh, molasses uh, uh, producers. Now that the factory is there. That they know that, look, if I take my sugar cane, same day I'll get my money. That is what is going to pull the guys to do more sugar cane. You, you were there. We, we all saw you I on started, television. No, we saw, that we so, saw you on TV yeah. when the president was commissioning yeah. um, the, the factory. Uh, I believe that there are people who have been employed by the Commander Sugar Factory. Yes, definitely. So now that after the initial stock of sugar cane, sugar cane is processed, what happens to these individuals? While the company officials or management be look at the entire factory and say, okay, let's tighten this boat or let's do these things, what happens to these individuals? They are, they are still working. You see, the thing is, the core staff, are the, like the engineering staff, they are the ones going to do most of the work now. Okay, when we run, test run the machine, we need to change this filter. We need to tighten here. We need to, they are there. And definitely, they will be paid. So once they will be paid, the account officer should still be there. The administrative staff should, should still be there. Because as I'm talking now, they have people who are still liaising with other farmers. You see, we are not looking at only central region. We are going all the way to Aguna Quanta to get sugarcane. So at the end of the day, they, those things have been done. But now, 
they test run the, uh, uh, the, uh, the factory. Now the farmers have realized that they were not being lied to. Is this suggest that the farmers were not sure that sure. This, this was going to happen? No, because they've heard it severally. That's what I'm saying. They've given them promises of revamping the, the factory severally. But nothing happened. But today, the factory is there. The factory is capable of uh, 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 crashing 1,200 me metric tons of sugarcane a day. So the farmer knows now that, look, if I produce, I have somewhere to sell my produce to. When the, when the factory was um, commissioned last Monday, how many tons of sugarcane did was available at the factory? I can't tell because even when we were leaving, we, we still met, if, if you came around, when you were leaving, you realize that we still saw so many trucks cutting uh, sugarcane to the site. So I can't say then, uh, I can't tell you the tonnage that came in. All I know is the minimum uh, 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 tonnage, the, uh, the, 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 the 1,200. So uh, as of today, do we have sugar produced from the Commander Sugar Factory today as we speak? I, I, I don't know unless I check because I came back the same Monday after the after the uh, 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 the the inauguration, we have I know I know people are still there. I still saw sugarcane being cut there, and I don't think they will cut the sugarcane there for people to chew. But but if the if the suggestion you're making is that at the commissioning on the day of commissioning there was sugarcane in excess of thousand through two hundred metric tons, which is the minimum the company or the factory no, no, needs I didn't to process. Say they were excess because okay, I there was there was sugarcane. Sugar there, there was there enough sugarcane yes. that was being crushed, yes. but we are unable to tell whether or not sugar was produced. We are unable to tell. I, I I didn't see the end product before leaving because you know you know it's just like you crushed you you keep the uh, the the, uh, the the cane juice in a tank before it goes through the processes. We saw when it was being stored, but I don't know if it went through the process of coming out as a, as a granulated or fine sugar, I wasn't there. But what I am saying is, the, my, the kind of people who have started taking up lands to produce sugarcane, including me myself, to produce sugarcane, is because we have faith in that factory. We know if I, we produce, we will get market for our produce. That is why it, I met a lot of the farmers on that day. Is, is a commander area a viable area for sugarcane uh, production? Oh yeah, I mean it's, it's been like that. I mean they've been doing this since the 60s. I mean it's their work, you know, but the only funny thing is um, most of those lands were given, I mean people took them over and blah blah blah. But looking at the catchment area, you see, if you drive on that road all the way to Atrebuanda, all the way to Shama Junction, you see a lot of people brewing uh, molasses. You, you have been a central regional minister before. The minority say that irrigation systems are non-existent. And as you have just alluded to, the lands that in the past were used for sugarcane production have all been taken over by individuals. Most of them have been taken over. Is there still a viable area? For sugarcane production within the commander area, more than it, more than you see, uh, Grazel had their own sugarcane farm. That is what is being taken over. But those outgrowers from the times of old still have their lands. I hope you understand me. But you see, the factory had its own land that it produces its sugarcane on. And apart from that, they depend also on outgrowers. The outgrower still have his land. But it's the company land that is being taken over by people but even there they still have a lot of land if they want to cultivate they can you see if you talk about central region lacks uh, uh, irrigation or whatever i am a private farmer i am going to irrigate my land but which means i'm going to sink the ball to irrigate my farm because i'm going into that farm commercially so all the other farmers must do that no not all you see master if you have a one acre farm two acre farm how big is your farm you see, it depends on the largeness of your farm. You will think about irrigation. All those times, they were not irrigate, irrigating. They know they have the period for the sugarcane, you know, and they produce enough, you know, for them to even store some and sell it the other time. I, I hope you understand me. This is the time we need to grow them because from April, you start growing sugarcane and by October, you start harvesting. You understand me? So March, April... You, at least you have one rain, one big rain that will help you uh, 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 plant. Then along the line, July is our major raining season. You will have rain going through. And you see, 
why, why do we grow sugarcane in swamp areas? Whatever you do, swamp areas, no matter how dry the place is, one rain, one rain will make the whole place wet. Okay, so uh, as it stands now, when are we going to see the Commander Sugar Factory begin full-scale operation? I, 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 I can't tell, but I believe just after this um, checking of the machines and whatever, and I believe now availability of, of, of sugarcane is there. People have heard. Even, I learned even yesterday, people thought they were still buying sugarcane, that they started inquiring whether they can cut their sugarcane all the way from Aguna Quanta down to uh, Commander. So I believe, I believe it's now that people have seen that we were not paying lip service. We said we were bringing the factory. The factory is there. Now let's feed the factory. So the farmers have now started seriously growing their, their cane. Big farmers have also started taking up uh, lands in the area to, to, to do uh, 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 sugar cane. You understand me? That is the way forward. That is what is going to motivate. Because look, I was telling somebody that I have a 250 acre land that I'm going to do sugar cane with. How many workers am I going to employ there? Around 200. You understand me? And they are going to work there. So if somebody else comes in and takes up uh, 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 50 acre, 40 acre, how many people are we employing? Okay. From now, we are, we are not going to say that if we've not sold the sugar cane, we are not going to pay you. The moment you employ them now, you start paying them. You understand me? So it's something that we have to encourage people. You see, I'm sometimes shocked uh, 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 of all our, our members of parliament from the opposite side. You see, government is doing something that is going to inure to the benefit of the people that you, your same pe person, want to come and serve. Why don't you encourage the government to do and do, do more? You, you, you are criticizing this for what? Because you said you wanted to do it and you were not able to do it and somebody has done it. No, at least who cry the banana if you're in You understand me? So I mean I I I I I sometimes don't understand this whole thing. This is something they they cried, they tried to revamp since Kufour came to to power. They tried and they were not able to do it. So if somebody has done it, at least if you won't give the person praise, just go and sleep. Thank you, you very much. Need to go out there and be issuing statements that they themselves they don't understand the statement that they've issued. Thank you very much. Now let's talk about June 3. Tomorrow marks exactly a year since uh, that unfortunate incident happened. Parliament paid a visit to the site. I think a day or two after. Did you have the opportunity to visit June 3 after the disaster? Yeah, I I I, I didn't go there. Uh, I was then in Cape Coast, but uh, I lost uh, a friend through that disaster. So anytime I hear of that disaster, it's, um, he died in his car. He was sitting in his car when the car uh, got blown, you know. So um, I, 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 I have heavy heart anytime I think about uh, May th uh, June 3rd. But as Ghanaians, I've 